Hello to everyone. Today we are here to discuss something on the topic called the importance of kindness. The importance of kindness. Let us look to God in prayer. Almighty God our Father, we thank you and we praise you, Lord God. As we learn together the importance of kindness, we pray, Lord, that you will grant us wisdom to understand the topics that which we are going to discuss, Lord. Be with us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. As I already said that today, I would like to discuss something on a topic called the importance of kindness. When we hear the word kindness, what is the first thing that comes to your mind? Is it about being nice or to others or is it doing good things whenever it is possible? The truth is, there is more to kindness than being nice, doing right by others or doing right things to others. In fact, there may not be a single word that can describe the true meaning of kindness. Dictionary defines kindness as a quality of being friendly, generous and considered. Other synonyms of kindness are goodwill, warm, tenderness, selflessness and benevolence. Kindness is a behavior marked by ache of generosity, considering rendering assistance or concern for others without expecting praises or reward in return. Kindness is a topic which we can find in philosophy, religion, and psychology. Kindness is one of the main topics in the Bible. A act of kindness can make the world a happy place for everyone. Kindness boosts feelings of confidence, being in control, happiness, and optimism. Act of kindness also encourage others to repeat. To repeat the good deeds they have experienced themselves, contributing to a more positive growth in our community. Once again, I repeat, act of kindness also encourage others to repeat the good deeds they have experienced themselves in contributing to a more positive growth in our society. Even for our growth, kindness is important. As we help each other because we care for each other, it is our kindness that makes us compassionate towards our family, friends, and strangers too. The word kindness or the kindness word which we can use every day in our activities are please, thank you, I'm wrong, and I'm sorry. So these are some simple kind words that we can use every day. The small kindness word suits our interactions and help others feel as though you, have, you are aware of them. Kindness is selfless, compassionate, and merciful. It's the greatest power revealed in practicing in our lives. Towards our enemies and among the least of these, love our neighbors, show kindness to everyone. For a perfect ambulance of biblical kindness, we need to look. Uh, we need to look on, on further in learning the life and teaching of Jesus. In the Bible, the form of uh, in the Bible from the book of Galatians, chapter five, verse twenty-two to twenty-four, day it says that but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things, there is no law. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its patience and desires. As we read the Bible, the word kindness means showing goodness, generosity, and sympathy, empathy towards others, which likewise is an attribute of God. From the book of Romans, chapter 2, verse 4, it says, O oh, do you show contempt for the riches of his kindness, forbearance, and patience, not realizing that God's kindness is intended to lead you to repentance? Why does God show us a kindness? Kindness in the Bible teaches that ultimate, 
are expressions of our love for God. It, it's how we, we tell him that we are choosing him as much as he chose us. From the book of Proverbs chapter 11 verse 17 it says, The merciful man does good to his own soul, but that is cruel trouble his own flesh. Once again I repeat, the book of Proverbs chapter 11 verse um, 17 says, The merciful man does good to his own soul, but he that is cruel trouble his own flesh. Which tells us that a man who is kind benefit himself, but a cruel man hurt himself. Indeed, kindness not only make others happy, but oneself too. They are different renowned people who have expressed their own view or their own thoughts on, the, uh, on this word, kindness. So let us see some of, some of it, like um, according to Mark, Mark uh, Twain, he says that kindness is a language that a deaf can hear and the blind can see. He is trying to tell us that kindness is universal. It can transverse boundaries, race, and even disabilities. But does this define kindness in a way? Yes, but it's just one phase of being kind. Another inspirational figure we all know that. He untangled the complex definition of ki uh, kindness. He says that, this is my simple religion. There is no need for temple, no need for complicated uh, philosophy. Our own brains, our own heart is our temple. The philosophy is kindness, has been said by Dalai Lama. American politi politician uh, Frank A. Clark said that kindness make a fellow feel good whether it is been done to him or by him. So what does this tell us from different people? It tells us that kindness is demonstrated how wide and varied our interpretation of the word is. It comes in many forms and may not always be as simple as doing good things. What comes as good and is right for someone may not necessarily be viewed as such by another. In theory, like what counts as right and good is clear cut. We are taught that doing good things constitute of kindness, but in reality, what is good isn't always obvious. They are instant when the boundaries between good and the bad are muddled and making a choice to be kind isn't always easy. Early Wahab says, when you face what is a choice, choose to inspire, choose to empower, choose to stand for those who lose the will to stand for themselves. Different people tend to look to kindness in different ways, but empathy, um, Understanding and compassion are a universal, accepting and helping one another, no matter who they are or where they came from a kindness in and itself. So let us also furtherly look at much in, in that of the Bible. The Bible, uh, the kindness in the Bible says like um, they are like in the Paul's letter, uh, to the book of Ephesians says that uh, he has this to say about kindness be kind to one another tan that hearted forgiving one another as God Christ forgave you from the book of Ephesians chapter 4 verse 32 while in another letter to the Colossians he wrote put on them as God chosen one holy and beloved compassionate hearts kindness Humility, meekness, and patience. That's from the book of Colossians, chapter 3, verse 12. This means that we we are choosing. This means that being kind to others in our own way of following in God's footsteps is the ultimate expression of our love to God. It's how we tell Him that we are choosing Him as much as he chose us. 
From the book of Proverbs chapter 11 verse 17 also tells us that a man who is kind benefit himself but a cruel man hurt himself. Indeed, kindness not only makes others happy but it uplifts our spirits too. Just think of the last time what you, ha you have done, a random act of kindness. What did you feel? How did you feel after uh, acting out or after being kind to someone known and unknown? I'm sure you felt satisfied and elated. Now, the self a serving kind of satisfa satisfying but a genuine feeling of happiness that only comes from helping others. So, like kindness involves making a choices what makes someone truly kind is because they keep choosing to be kind even if it means having to sacrifice or saying no to others this is uh, even if it means having to sacrifice okay this is what distinguish someone who wants to be kind from a person who wants to be nice the former would choose a part uh, that their conscience dictate no matter how unpopular it is or that they may be scorned by the people they love, while the latter choose that which will make them look good in front of others. Like uh, when someone asks you for money uh, but, you don't ha but you have a doubt as to what they will s spend for it. Being nice means you will just give them and what they want so to avoid the irri. But if you really want to be kind, you will want what is best for them. And that means not giving them the money they want. They might get angry at you and call you unkind words. But at the end of the day, you help them, which is far more important than having a sparkling reputation. We all deserve kindness too. Being kind shouldn't be reserved only for others. But you and I also need uh, to be kind to ourselves because you and I is also liked by everyone or they are, we are also like every one of the other people deserve kindness too. We need to treat ourselves like uh, everyone would do. Avoid criticizing or putting oneself down. Instead of ourselves kind words every day, a steer clear of people who are still stressing you out and stick with those who inspire you after all you can't give and what you don't have the same is true with kindness you can't be truly kind to others if you can't even be kind to yourself being a kind can change the world they say that respect back respect the same is also true with kindness a simple random act of kindness can inspire others to pay it forward it triggers a chain of reaction of people of being kind to others. It creates ripples uh, which in time can grow to become waves. Before you know it, you have started a kindness movement. It starts in your community, then your country, then the world. This is the one of the most profound act of kindness. A simple random act that you didn't think much can potentially change the world. Now, let us also know that kindness has also many good impact for our own our well-being, happiness, and health too. Like, uh, according to the science, is they, it says that a person who is a kind, stressless, and according to uh, the science, it says that 23% less cost, uh, cortisol uh, is been found. That means uh, it slows the age age in aging process that is what it has said so let us try to you know take this kindness in our life so that we can uh, love someone or we can be uh, grateful or we can you know ignite someone's mood or we can uplift someone's mood kindness can also give us energy it can also relieve pain kindness is good for the heart as i already said and Kindness makes us happier. As I already said in the beginning that kindness slows aging. Kindness will also help us improve our relationship, be it a parents, children's relationship, or be it a boss and a executive a relationship, be it a relationship that is which is around us, 
that we always live with it and it also helps us to you know uh, support the immune system and we can also support mentally it helps our mental health status kindness helps us to ease anxieties and kindness is a contagious um, diseases you know why do i call it contagious disease because once we start this act to others definitely the person who love the act of kindness from us will start spreading and it will keep continually growing on let us also do something you know um, a few exercises or few random act that which we can help us in every day of our life like buying a coffee for a stranger or like volunteer something for a charity or for the orphan homes for the widowers or the widows or something like baking or, or uh, like exchanging of uh, curries or exchanging things treating someone sending some flowers you know appreciating one another this will help you know people around us uh, boost their immune system and that will make something very good for them too sometimes uh, let us also like um, visit the elderly parents who are in our neighborhood in this way like small act of kindness can help people who are really in need of our uh, of us and our love and concern so to make this world a better place to live let us make sure to, to be kind kind to all humanity including ourselves with the act of kindness in this way we can spread love we can spread kindness in every day of our life it's being good uh, discussing with you all. I believe that you guys are blessed with us. And as we listen to this, let us keep into a practice in spreading this word kindness. Let us lead to God in prayer. Abba Father, we thank you so much for the word that which we have learned together. Bless us together, Father God, so that we can able to listen and put it in our practice in order to be a light to the people, Father God to act this kindness every day in our life, to be a light. Bless us together. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you once again for being with me, for listening to me. Let us meet up again for another video. Till then, take care, spread, and share this video as much as possible. And be blessed. Amen.